What is absolutely popping my lollipops? Y'all already know it's your girl Lola Wall, and I'm back with another message. Please, please, please make sure you guys take this message back to the Lord Most High in prayer and supplication in Jesus' mighty name. So in the past three days, God has been telling me, I'm trying to open this big fat door for my children, but they're not doing. They're hearing, but they're not doing. You cannot be a hearer only. You need to be a hearer and a doer you need to do that which you're hearing if god is saying go for it you need to go for it full speed here let me get a little bit specific for you so god has told me and made it very clear that he has blessed each and every one of his children with gifts he has blessed each and every one of his children with gifts and these gifts is what is going to launch you into your breakthrough but what you're not doing is using it you're not using your gift. And there are two ways you can use the gift that God gives you. One way is through the holy way, right? And the other way is the impure way. So I would like to use some examples. Like David, for example. Everything, the skill that he had, the, 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 the the repentant heart that he had, you know, the ability to be able to praise God and worship God. He even listened to God. He was able to listen to God and obey God. And he was strategic because of the fact that he listened to God. God taught him which way he wanted him to go. And you guys also have to understand that within the new levels that you're going to go to, there are going to be new devils uh, new levels, new devils. As you grow, there are new enemies trying to knock you off your foot, trying to cause you to go in the wrong path, trying to make you stumble. And these enemies are going to use people around you, open vessels that are, you know, making themselves available for the devil to use them. Okay, and you have to be mindful of this and ask the Holy Spirit for, for discernment. Okay, see, my Bible tells me, right, in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, it says right here, Be ye, but ye are chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. The Holy Spirit is calling you out into his marvelous light, out of darkness. And he's given you this gift that you were born with before he, um, before you were even born. Like, he already shaped you, molded you in your mother's room. You came out beautifully and wonderfully made by your creator. He has gifted you, blessed you with gifts, multiple gifts. And he's now asking you to use these gifts. He's now asking you to go above and beyond, be exceptional in your gifts, the gift that you had, and, and be the be the exceptional, like top tier, the, the very best, go above and beyond, be extraordinary, uh, be outstanding. And, and what stood out to me is in the word outstanding, it's when you flip it, it's standing out. The Holy Spirit wants us to stand out. He wants you to um um step out of the world because although we are in the world we are not of the world so he wants you to be different be unique use that gift which he has blessed you with children of god okay he wants you to be diligent diligent and know that you are special know the authority you have in jesus christ okay each and every one of us have a gift. If you do not know your gift, Holy Spirit, reveal my gift to me. Lord, show me what my talent is. Show me what my gift is. Show me my destiny. Reveal these things to me just like he did David. Not David. Joseph, he can do you. He will reveal your gifts, your talent, your destiny, your future, his plan. Ah, he's a good God. A good God. And what can hinder you from being able to use your talents? Because we all want to be great. So what is stopping you from being great? 
What is stopping you from being a child like David? A man after God's heart. Notice something about David. He was a repentant person. He was always repenting. He genuinely saw what he did was wrong and he repented about it. Okay? You can never put money first. If you're going to use your talent and your gift and you put money first, you failed already, automatically. When it comes to your gift, when it comes to your talent, baby, money is not first. God is first. And when God comes first, he will lead you, guide you, show you how he wants you to use this gift, this talent in which he has blessed you with. But when you use money as your lead, oh, I'm doing this because I'm going to make this X amount of money. You end up like Beyonce. You end up like Drake and Future and all of these worldly artists. Their soul is dead, dying. But they're feeding this flesh which disintegrates, which molds up, which goes back into the ground, you guys. Use the gift that you have been given by God because he's not going to take that gift away from you if he would devil uh devil and what he's able to do in the music industry would have been scattered but god is using that to bring his people in he's using that to wake his people up and everybody who is a child of god already has been woken up by god at their appointed time like it's all gonna play out the way it's supposed to play out we are all where we are supposed to be but we need to also make the correct decisions. It's a choice. If you want to be an exceptional vessel for God, it's a big choice. You have to choose to stay away from sin. You have to choose to obey God. You have to choose to listen to God, to hear him, but also do that which he's saying he needs us to do. If he's saying, uh, Lola, Lola, get up, work on your talent, work on your gift, and you're not doing it, while you're young, while you're still able to do it, you're wasting away that gift, you're wasting away that talent. It's kind of like the story of the, the talents. The one that did not use his talent, they, he got casted away. But those ones that used their talent, it doubled. It multiplies. I know it's easier said than done. Get up, yeah, do it, do work, do work on that business, work on that idea, study more, whatever. I don't know what your talent is. What are you good at? Study it, study the Bible more. So Lord, we ask that Lord, you firstly, and most importantly, forgive us, oh God. Father, we ask for your forgiveness, everlasting Father. Have mercy on us, oh God. Lord, have mercy on us, please, oh God. Father, you said that you have mercy on who you will say, who you have mercy on. Lord, we ask, we beg that you have mercy on us, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, I repent. Lola Wola, I repent. Do you repent? I repent, oh God. Any way I've fallen short of your glory, mighty God, forgive me. Anywhere I've fallen short of your glory, mighty God, please teach me the right way. Teach me how to actually act, how to actually go about it in the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord, to stay far, 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 far away from sin. Far, 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 far away from filthiness. Father, help me to choose life. Help me to be an exceptional vessel for your kingdom, oh God. Oh Lord, I pray that you sanctify us. Help us to choose life. Sanctify all your children, oh God. Sanctify the body in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are covered in the blood of Jesus. No weapon formed against you will prosper. Unless you give them legal rights by sitting. Don't let them in. Don't let them in. Don't give them legal rights. We're going to talk about that next time. Legal rights. That's a real thing, and we keep doing it just thinking off the rip that, oh, God's going to forgive me. Let me do this. That satisfies my flesh. No, you're giving the devil legal rights, and we're going to talk more about that in another video. That's a whole other topic. 
But God bless you all as you obey in Jesus' mighty name. Remember to inhale, exhale, rebuke hell. In the mighty name of Jesus, God bless you all as you obey in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.